Pokemon available to use here in Pokemon Go to raid raid bosses in Pokemon Go. Well, the question is, what are the best counters to use against certain legendary raid bosses? Well, today we will find that out together as I'm gonna share with you guys a tool or a website that I always use to determine which is the best Pokemon to use. This is the one. I'm just kidding. This is not the one. All right. So hi hi to all of you guys. So yes, with so many uh, Pokemon available and so many typings available in terms of uh, Pokemon and you know, so many, you know, so really strong Shadow Pokemon, so many strong Legendary, Mythical, Ultra Beast Pokemon, which is the best to use against whichever raid bosses. So well, um, a lot of time, you know, whenever I meet people in person, I always share with them a particular website that I always use, and that is PokeBattler.com. For those of you who have never used this website before, I will urge you guys to check it out and go ahead to look at it uh, for yourselves. Um, I'll put the link in the description down below. All right, I'm not uh, collaborating with PokeBattler or being paid by PokeBattler to do this. I'm just here to share with you guys this knowledge so that you guys can utilize it for yourselves, for your benefits, and especially if you want to use a uh, better counter against whatever raid bosses that you guys are intending to raid. So anyway, once you guys go on to pokebattler.com, this is basically the website you can scroll down to see other stuff, this and that, but the thing that we will be focusing on today are raids. So we tap on the icon raids, all right, it'll bring you guys to this. So it'll show you the recent um, raid bosses that will be available and the upcoming ones also. Currently, it's still um, Tapu Lele. So Tapu Lele is over there at the top, and then you can see Mega Venusaur is also available, and the Primal Groudon raid, they just kind of ended, so it's still available over there. As for the Shadow raids, you can see Shadow Raikou is there, because it is still available in tier 5 for the weekend and also Shadow Mewtwo which is coming for the next weekend. As for the whatever raid bosses that will be upcoming, you guys can see it's being stated over there with the dates and whenever it's going to be available from and to. And uh, if you want to check out other previous uh, past uh, historical uh, Pokemon that were available to including tier 1, tier 3 and whatever Shadow, they're all available here. Alright, if, if you guys can't find the Pokemon that you're looking for, slowly take your time to search from them. There are so many of them including all these legacy see once you can tap on the icon it'll show you all the previous uh, shadow pokemon and whatsoever otherwise the simpler thing is to also just um I guess uh, you can search for it you can google for it pokey battle you can search the pokemon name over there that's what I normally do all right so let's go ahead to check out a few examples though let's go ahead to check out a uh, mega uh, Venusaur. Alright, so Mega Venusaur is the current raid boss right now so what is the best counter against it of course it is a Grass and Poison type Pokemon, hence it is weak to 4 typing, weak to Flying, Fire, Psychic and Ice. So the question is, which is the best Pokemon to use against it though, especially if you want to try and, you know, Shotman it or even want to uh, take it down in the most efficient manner possible. So if we scroll down over here, you guys can see, um, we can actually select the weather, you can select different weather, whether is it different um, condition that you can actually utilize this to actually have an extra 20% boost. Assuming you are fighting it during uh, windy weather, that's when Dragon, Flying and Psychic Type. moves would then be boosted by 20%. So using Mewtwo, using uh, dragons would definitely be good. I mean, not dragons, but flying type Pokemon would be good. So if we put to extreme, means there's no boost at all. all right? We select uh, the friendship. We can select whether you are doing it to, to by yourself, no friendship at all. Or if you're doing it with a best friend, that's when you get an extra 10% boost of damage. And of course, if you're going with a good friend, that's just 3%, but 3% you know, could help you take down the red boss or not. Anyway, let's go ahead to just select uh, No Friendship and we can scroll down to see over here. So this is basically the number one counter against uh, Mega Venusaur, Mega Rayquaza following up with Shadow Rayquaza which is not available yet with Air Slash and Dragon Ascent. If you guys see over here is Air Slash and Dragon Ascent. It shows you the move and even shows you how long it will take to take down the Red Boss 2 with a total of 287.6 seconds. Now here you guys can see over here as I zoom in. All right, if we will tap this icon over here, the one with the dot and the three lines, you can see it comes up with the other move, Dragon Tail and Dragon Ascent. It will be the second best uh, move against it. And then you guys can see uh, Shadow Rayquaza is actually uh, number one with um, the Air Slash and Dragon Ascent, assuming no Mega. However, it's not out yet. Okay, so this is basically the overall, but it doesn't mean that it is the best in terms of taking it down the quickest time. So if you see the icon on the right, where there are like one long line and one medium length line and one uh, shorter line, the one on the right over there, you tap on that, it will bring you down to show you this uh, few things that you can select. Okay, I'm not going to zoom in, it's going to be really weird. 
Um, we can select uh, time to win. That is the one that I always look at time to win. When take a look at time to win, that is when, all right, that is the best Pokemon in terms of taking down the red boss in the quickest manner, not bothering about how many, um, you know, times the opponent were to take down your your uh, Pokemon. So if you see the scow over here, times six, it means you have to utilize a total of six plus one Mega Rayquaza to take down the Mega Venusaur. Assuming you are doing it alone, it's not possible to even have like more than one Mega Rayquaza, of course. As for Shadow Mewtwo, you need a total of 19 plus one, that is 20. So if you're trying to do a solo against it, you need a total of 20 Shadow Mewtwo's. Um, of course, you can re-lobby and re-lobby and re-lobby too. Uh, but if you're not using Mega Rayquaza at all, that's when you will show um, that number of uh, deaths that's required for the Mewtwo. So if you want to conserve potions, all right, you can tap potions and you can, can see the number one Pokemon is still Mega Rayquaza because it resists, it in fact double resists the grass type move. All right? As for the move, you can see over here, choose move set. Alright, it's unknown, unknown now because um, we are basically choosing whatever move that could possibly have in terms of the Mega Venusaur having. So let's say it's running a uh, Razor Leaf and Solar Bean. I'm pretty sure um, the Flying and Fire type Pokemon will all be top tier right now. Even Reshiram is top tier. Alright, because um, it's really, really good. And they all double resist Grass anyways. As compared to Heatran, Heatran, uh, I think if you use Sludge Bomb, that's when it becomes number one because it double resists Poison and, and double resists um, Grass. Okay, so that's when you save a lot of potions and still do decent amount of damage. But if you want to do even more damage, we will look at damage TDO. Alright, so if we take a look at damage TDO, total damage output. That is when you also save a lot of potions. You still do decent amount of damage, but I that's the one that I do not look at the most because uh, I rather look at time to win. Time to win is the one that uh, I want to look at to take down the red boss as quickly as possible. Um, as long as you do not go away from the gym too far, especially if you're using a local pass, if you go more than uh, 160 meters away from the gym and try and relobby, then you have issues. But if you do not uh, go that far, you can actually relobby if your six Pokemon were to faint. Okay, so that's that. You can see that if we will change it up a bit, we will change uh, to Razor Leaf and uh, Petal Blizzard. That's when Shadow Mewtwo goes up beyond um, Shadow Rayquaza. So sometimes if you change around and select different mons, different different moves, sorry, different mons will actually turn up uh, higher than another one so Mewtwo is now even uh, lower because uh, you know there's Mega Blaziken, Mega Charizard so if you do not want to see the Mega you can go all the way here all right and not show the Mega at all excuse me all right not show the Mega at all all right we can zoom out okay over here down again you can see Shadow Rayquaza, Shadow Mewtwo they are the ones that are top tier but there's no Shadow Rayquaza so Shadow Mewtwo is currently the number one attacker against Mega Venusaur if you want to try and solo it okay so if we we'll check out um other Pokemon though, let's go ahead to tap on, tap on the top again, go back to home, go back to here. We can see that uh, if we were to choose uh, Shadow Mewtwo, since Shadow Mewtwo is coming into raids soon, alright, what's the best counter against it? Of course, a Bug, Ghost or Dark typing Pokemon. Ghost and Dark basically uh, does super effective to the same uh, typings. Whereas for Bug, you know, um, there are not many strong Bug type Pokemon. The strongest Bug type Pokemon currently is Shadow Pinsir, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, uh, if you don't account for Mega. But if we take a look at the Mega uh, against the Shadow Mewtwo, alright, so if we take a look at the top tier counter in terms of time to win, means the fastest time to take down the Shadow Mewtwo, is Mega Gengar. Mega Gengar together with Shadow Tyranita is the number one and number two, and then following up Mega Tyranita, Mega Bennett. But if you run out of uh, Me Mega Pokemon, of course, then you use the Shadow. So you can use Shadow Tyranita, Shadow Chandelier, and so on and so forth. Um, for me, I usually look at the top ten. Um, other than that, lower ones, then it depends on whether you guys have access to it. You guys can slowly scroll down and see. It basically shows you guys a total of 30 Pokemon, all right, that you can choose from and see if you guys can actually uh, use any of those uh, against uh, whatever raid bosses that you guys are intending to fight against. Of course, it also depends on the move, like I said. So if you are going to use a, a Psychic and Psychic type move, I would dare say Mega Gengar would probably be go down, see? Uh, because the Dark typing Pokemon, they double resist Psychic. So that's when they survive better and they can deal more damage over time too. Alright, so if we take a look at Focus Blast, that's when Mega Gengar comes up. All the, you know, Ghost Typing Pokemon comes up. Alright, if we take a look at even, um, yep, there, it goes up. For Chandelier, it definitely will go up also if you use a Flamethrower. But we have the Rock Typing Pokemon like uh, Tyranita that does resist that too. But if you check out Ice Beam, um, that's when uh, the Chandelier also would go up a little bit as compared to the other ones. 
Yep, so that's what I basically use, man. If you guys uh, want to check out this website, like I said, I will put the link in the description down below. Go ahead to check it out. And as for the whatever thing that you guys want to use, all right, you can choose a best friend. You can choose, uh, let's say, windy weather. Not windy weather, sorry. A fog, fo foggy weather, which is very rare to come by. But that's the, the weather that you can use to fight against uh, Mewtwo, Shadow Mewtwo. And if you can find that, all right, and you fight one with a... Uh, Confusion and Psychic, Mega Tyranitar with Bite and Brutal Swing will take it down in 521 seconds, allowing you to duo it uh, pretty much uh, easily. And this is against Shadow Mewtwo. Remember, at 60% health, I forgot to mention that though, 60% health, the Shadow Legendary Pokemon will all be enraged. This is running under the assumption that the, you do not use gems at all, the timing being shown over there, the time to win. All right, But if you do use gems, then the time will reduce a lot. Okay, I've done it before and it's possible to do it and do it with Princess and she managed to get herself a hundo out from it. Alright, so one last thing though I would like to show you guys if we were to scroll down uh, back to here, scroll up first, choose unknown for the moves, scroll down all the way here. So we can see that in this condition with best friend and also foggy weather, alright, the easiest move set to actually take on the Shadow Mewtwo it, we, look, we have to look at time to win okay it's uh, the one at the very bottom and that's psycho cut and flamethrower because you know uh, mega tyranita resists flamethrower and flamethrower isn't the uh, same type attack bonus for the shadow mewtwo so it's not going to do as crazy much damage as psychic all right so um, if you guys want to try and do this i would say psycho uh, psycho cut and flamethrower basically any flamethrower uh, with the fast move will allow you to do it much easier but if you want to use Gengar, of course focus blast will also work with Psycho Cuts, Focus Blast, that should be the easiest. Yep, but other than that though, um, that's basically in terms of whatever i like to show to you guys. From this website, there are a lot more things that you guys can check out on this website. Um, I'll urge you guys to take a time to check it out. If you guys are interested to know what rate bosses will be good for the future, save this website, put as your favourite. And next time when you need to know which Pokemon to use for whatever rate bosses, that's where you can just pull it up, spend about 5 minutes going through everything, set your party and you'll be ready for the entire period when whatever raid bosses comes. Alright, so that's it from me, man. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely remember to leave a like on the video. It'd be much appreciated. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. It's time to say goodbye. Yeah, so goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.